<laughs> He's joking around. <laughs> he feels so good when he jokes. And we are live. Welcome, folks, to the American Movie Movie Podcast. If you've never been here before, welcome aboard. I go through movies, news, documentaries, Netflix series, Netflix originals, and today we're going over in the tall grass. So this is a deviation from Stephen King's book, and it is the um, it's brought to us by Netflix, and the director is Vincento Natale, and he was he directed a crazy movie. It was a little fucked up. Uh, Splice. So. This was, this is also starring uh, Patrick Wilson. He was in uh, The Watchmen. He was in Aquaman. He was in Insidious. He's um, the handsome fellow in that. So this was very terrifying. This was a solid horror movie. It runs about two hours. It was very compelling. The CGI was very good. Um, Acting was great. So it is about these... um, these two kids and they're in Kansas and they're headed to San Diego, I believe definitely California. And they, um, they happen to stop and they hear a boy who is Tobin yelling in the distance inside this tall, inside this tall grass. So I really, really liked this movie. I thought it was very scary. I thought it was better than Gerald's game. And that was, um, Gerald's game wasn't bad in here either. So it was very, very scary. And it was so, it was very unique. And if you haven't seen any movie, um, I don't want to spoil it. So like there is similarities between, I don't want to spoil it, but it's very, very good. And if you like horror, you're really going to like this show. Um, it is somewhat gory. There are moments in time. I always punctual gore. So it was like punctual and appropriate violence, but it was like, boom, it was like, Oh man, this, uh, that was gross. So, (laughs) so it was very cool that way. And it wasn't too much, and it was just nothing, all the CGI was good. You can get some bad CGI and then just get totally taken out of the movie, but I thought all the spectacle, spectacle was cool, and I think it's, um, I mean, getting lost is for real a fear, so I think it thrives on that. I think it thrives on that innate um, concern whenever you're lost or you can't see or you can only hear these people, and this grass happens to play with the people's... Um, uh, auditory senses where it's like, hey, we're over here. And then it starts to trail off. Hey, we're over here. And then it travels and it splits up these two people. And then the chaos just keeps going. And it's really cool that way. So it's available now. It's on Netflix streaming right now. If you have seen it, let me know what you thought. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, don't forget to follow us on all the social media platforms, everything like that. And if you start your own podcast, I have a link down below. You get the four necessary steps or elements you need for a podcast to start your very own. Um, there's some marketing and some R&D and a whole bunch of stuff in there. So check that out if you'd like. And that's it for now. Let me know what you thought of In the Tall Grass. Until next time, bye, 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 bye. After all, someone has to pay for the uh, lap dances for the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking around. <laughs>